Welcome sports fans. My name is Libby Williams and you are watching episode three of Necessary Roughness. Today's episode I am particularly excited about because I will be discussing the five most successful programs in men's division one college basketball since the advent of the NCAA tournament in 1939. In other words, I will be discussing the top five most dominant college basketball programs of all time. And I wanted to provide a ranking built much more on statistics and achievements than broad perception or subjective rankings. I did need to come up with categories and assign values to them. I relied upon wins and losses, NCAA tournament success, conference dominance, and the cultivation of NBA talent. Those categories points were added up and the master order was determined. Drum roll please, I proudly present the best programs in college basketball. Bear in mind, my rank was determined by regular season titles, NCAA tournaments, final fours, and top 60 NBA picks. Number five, Kansas. Regular season titles, 42. NCAA tournaments, 48. Final fours, 15. Top 60 NBA picks, 62. Now there are programs that rank higher, but in terms of pure college basketball history, does any school have more star power and icon allure than Kansas? Not really. Here's a laundry list of names associated with the program in the past 120 years. James Naismith, Fogg Allen, Dean Smith, Ralph Miller, Wilt Chamberlain, Larry Brown, Roy Williams, and of course, Bill Self. Kansas has the most distinguished and accomplished names in the history of the sport. Amid all the records and achievements, the most outrageous one to me is still self winning 14 consecutive regular season titles from the years 2005 to 2018. I don't think that will ever be duplicated at the power conference levels in the next century. Amid all this dominance, it's still surprising to know that KU has just three national championships, 1952, 1988, and 2008. But the final four runs outside of that are plenty, 12 in total, and KU's 107 NCAA tournament wins are fourth most in history. Now who's the best coach in school history? Allen has the building named after him, of course, and it might be the best venue in college basketball, but self's dominance in the modern era cannot be usurped. The fans also have a long tradition of bringing out the most haunting cheer or taunt in college sports, which goes as follows. Rock, chalk, J, hawk, K, U. Number four, UCLA. Regular season titles, 31. NCAA tournaments, 49. Final fours, 18. Top 60 NBA picks, 83. Now the Bruins won and won and won and became one of the biggest stories in sports from the mid 1960s all the way through 1975 when John Wooden surprisingly retired after winning his 10th, yes 10th, and final championship. Now that's a coaching record in men's basketball that seems near impossible to break at this point and for centuries to come for that matter. UCLA has 17 wins over number one ranked teams in its history. Wooden has 622 games and coached from 1948 to 1975. His image and impression were so daunting that UCLA became viewed as an underachiever in the near two decades after his retirement, even though the Bruins frequently made the NCAA tournament and all its coaches were easily above 600 in win percentage. Consensus All-Americans consist of Gail Goodrich, Alcindor, Bill Walton, Kevin Love, and Lonzo Ball. Of course, this is also the alma mater of Reggie Miller and, well, my boy, Russell Westbrook. Number three, Duke. Regular season titles, 22. NCAA tournaments, 43. Final fours, 16. Top 60 NBA picks, 78. Thankfully for Duke and Mike Krzyzewski, dating back to his first year as head coach in 1980, the decision to stay the course and commit long term to Coach K has resulted in what could be argued as the greatest coaching career in men's basketball history. He made Duke the most popular and polarizing program in the sport. Under Coach K, it's a platinum college basketball power. To date, Duke has 29 wins over number one ranked teams, 
which is the most in college basketball. Its 114 NCAA tournament wins is ranked third all time. His five titles trail only Wooden's 10 NCAA championships, but he's thrived when getting to the Final Four has been tougher. The sports talent pool is more spread out than ever, and the competition remains cutthroat. The 2020 NBA draft marked the first time in 10 years a Duke player failed to be picked in the first round. Consensus All-Americans consist of Grant Hill, Shane Battier, Jason Williams, J.J. Redick, Jaleel Okafor, Marvin Bagley III, R.J. Barrett, and of course, Zion Williamson. Duke is the biggest program in college basketball because it draws the most emotion from the sports fans. Lots of love and lots of hate, but no larger TV draw than the school with four letters led by a man referred to with just one, K. Number two, North Carolina. Regular season titles, 35. NCAA tournaments, 50. Final fours, 20. Top 60 NBA picks, 75. Now this is college basketball royalty in its most elegant form. It's fair to say that between Dean Smith and Roy Williams, who have combined for six tournament titles and 1,764 career wins, no program has a better one-two of coaches than UNC. The Tar Heels won their first title in 1957 by going 32-0 under Frank McGuire, when Lenny Rosenbluth and Pete Brennan guiding the way. The next championship didn't happen until a guy named Jordan hit a shot with 17 seconds to go against Georgetown in 82. But MJ wasn't even UNC's best player. He was a freshman understudy, playing third fiddle at best to James Worthy and of course, Sam Perkins. The Tar Heels claim 23 victories over number one ranked teams. They have 126 NCAA tournament wins. Their 339 victories against ranked opponents is far and away the most in college basketball history and in the historically great ACC. 35 regular season titles puts Duke's 22 to shame. Also a record, 20 Final Fours. No school tops that. The same goes for Sweet 16 appearances. UNC claims 34 of them. No program has been better at cultivating more really good NBA players either. When you've got Jordan, you've kind of got the winning hand. But here's a slew of other consensus All-Americans to play in Chapel Hill. Bob McAdoo, Worthy, Perkins, Kenny Smith, and Antoine Jameson. Then you've got Vince Carter, Ty Lawson, and Rasheed Wallace. Just stud after stud after stud. At one point, UNC made 27 consecutive NCAA tournaments, a record only recently broken by, you guessed it, Kansas. Smith is still considered the greatest coach in UNC history, but Williams has more national titles. Williams took over at a point in 2003 when UNC was starting to slump. He won a national title in two years. Those 2005 and 09 championship teams have a case to be just as good as the 82 champs. Number one, Kentucky. Regular season titles, 47. NCAA tournaments, 59. Final fours, 17. Top 60 NBA picks, 100. Kentucky is blowing away this field. The difference really is the SEC championships and the NBA talent John Calipari has recruited to the Bluegrass State for the past decade. It's astounding. Kentucky is unequivocally the most successful and consistent program in college basketball in the past 10 years, the past 20, 30, 40, 60, and even 80 years. UK's 131 NCAA tournament wins, most ever. It's 2,320 wins in history, most ever. How about this? It has made 21 Elite Eights not including the years it also went to the Final Four, which adds another nine to that pile by far the most ever. Kentucky's 102 top 60 NBA picks since 1946, most ever. It's been ranked for 919 weeks, tops in college basketball history. The 59 NCAA tournament bids outpaces number two North Carolina by nine. Its domination of the SEC is silly. Those 47 regular season titles, in addition to 17 Final Fours, catapulted Kentucky past the competition. Rick Pitino provided college basketball with its most entertaining team of the 1990s. The 95-96 Kentucky team that went 34-2 and, and won the title is on the Mount Rushmore of greatest teams in history and is probably the best non-undefeated team to ever win it all. 
Now I said UNC has the best one-two coaching combo ever, and that's true, but Kentucky by far has the best trio of elite coaches in basketball history. Rupp, Patino, and Calipari. Since 2009, Calipari has redefined how to recruit and thrive in college hoops, peeling off the greatest run of pros in college basketball history. UK has more Final Fours than any school in Calipari's tenure and won the national title with another all-time great team in 2011-12. The list of absurd talent to play in Kentucky would require a chapter unto itself, so here's a dollop. Ron Mercer, Tayshawn Prince, John Wall, DeMarcus Cousins, Anthony Davis, and Tyler Eulis. Now while college basketball has an impressive group of blue bloods sitting at its table, only one program belongs at the head, Kentucky. Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed and potentially learned something about the top five most dominant college basketball programs of all time. Stay tuned for episode four that will be coming very soon. This was Necessary Roughness. I'm Libby Williams. The five most... <coughs> Fuck. <coughs> <coughs> Choked on a cookie. Oh, man. <clears throat>